doubt and this is something that I've experienced um, in the month of February. Now, I'm not cool there. I'm not really a cool person who goes to parties, does all that, what I like to think. I'm very knowledgeable. Reading the newspaper is one of my hobbies. It does not mean I get time to do it, but whenever I do, I love it, enjoy it. Now, I am a person where I get offended, not easily, but I will get offended if you say something to me that is just, no. And I will tell it to you. I am not gonna just, just be a hot mess. But then when I come back, I'm like, huh. Maybe I should have done that differently. Maybe I am not fun. And you know, sometimes people are like, oh, Bhairvi, come on. This was just a joke. Oh, Bhairvi, come on. Something like that. And I'm like, at that time, I'm very good, rigid, all alert and stuff. But then when I come back, I'm like, hmm, maybe I was being like that. Maybe I was being stuck up and stuff like that. And I wonder, am I a grandma? Am I just not cool? And I always self-doubt always self doubt and I'm always like why am I not cool why am I so stuck up why am I like this why am I like that but then it comes to a realization talking to friends and stuff like that and uh, realizing that you know what I don't need to self doubt myself and I don't need to fit in with these people they're just not my cup of tea I guess that's when I come to the realization of that you know what I'm just standing up for myself there's nothing wrong with that and guys it's such a bad downward spiral where I just start self doubting there goes my confidence there goes the self esteem there goes everything and it sucks where you're just am I not capable enough you talk to people that are like you and then you feel like huh no this is this is okay this is yeah because <clears throat> when you meet different kinds of people different kinds they might match up with you sometimes sometimes they might not so this ends up happening and if there's more of people that don't match up with you you're gonna feel like oh maybe I'm not cool no you're okay being cool not cool does not matter you being true to yourself you're being you which is great and you can actually think of it like as an exam. It's kind of like an examination of you going with other people and not changing. You were being you. And that is so good. And you should be thankful for that. That, hey, it's not that I'm not cool or I'm not this, I'm not that. I was me at that time. I stuck up with me. I was standing with myself in that time all alone. That is so amazing. You should actually be giving a pat on your back. I need to remember to do that. Being you does not have to be being not cool, not whatever being you is just being you it does not come with a cool tag or nerd tag or that you're just being yourself and whoever's with you need to be accepting of that unless it's something really wrong or something it's like oh i just i throw my towel on the bed that's just me no you need to change that but uh something that's you know what i mean right so uh, being you is okay it's enough to just be you once you're past that then you can see if self-doubting is good or bad or whatever because being you does not have to come with self-doubt. I hope you enjoyed this video and it made sense. I'll talk to you in my next video. I've made lots of other life advice videos if you want to see. I'll be linking these in. By the way, talking about parties, I've actually done a story time video the first time that I went to a party. We'll link it here. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye.